under the scorching Juba sun, these artists are not only showing off their talent, they are also passing on messages of peace. One of the themes explored here is the discouragement of hate speech in social media. The artists also distribute white handkerchief with messages of peace. Most of people could come and say, see what you are doing, are youth. You know, so we thought we could bring small change to youth, change their, change their mind from violence to peaceful one. The artists say the only way out of the current violence in South Sudan is for each South Sudanese to use non-violent means for resolving conflicts. We're trying to let our people know that we can do it. We can also have the peace that others are having. Like by, like it's okay, it's about we trying to do everything in our powers to, to get what we want. And we are trying to let them know that peace is with us. If we study, we can have it. Some of those who attend the performances by artists say they are learning from what they are seeing. Most of the time we, we don't know actually what is peace. So I decided that peace is just when I'm happy. Yeah, it's like when I'm happy, I'm at peace. And I, I really like to be happy most of the time. Uh, as a person and I wish like for all South Sudanese to try to be happy themselves from inside. If you are happy, I think you will be happy for your brother, for your sister, for your family. Calls for peace are coming out from various directions in South Sudan. There has been relative calm in Juba since the July fighting, but peace remains elusive in some parts of the country. So these artists hope they can influence all South Sudanese to do their part to bring peace back to the country. Patrick Oyet, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.